This lesson is titled Cowboy and Horse Converting Fractions into Decimals. Make sure you get the handout. There is a link below in the description of this video. It's always easier to take notes when you have the handout right there in front of you. It's a great resource to just stick into your notebook. And the purpose of this is not so much to teach about how to turn a um, fraction into a decimal, it's to help people understand what on earth I'm talking about when I say cowboy and horse. So, cowboy is the number on top. The cowboy rides on top of his horse. What do we mean by this? Here's the house. The cowboy is allowed to go inside the house, but the horse has to stay outside. That's the gist of it. Now when we're taking a fraction, in this case it's an improper fraction because the number on top is bigger, we can divide and we can write our answer in two different forms. We can write it as a decimal number or we can write it as a mixed number. And we're going to go ahead and do both of those so that you can see um, just the two methods. So here it is again. Cowboy gets to go in the house and the horse has to stay outside. Now I'll, I know, just looking at this, that 5 is not going to go into 19 evenly. And since I'm demonstrating the decimal number, I'm going to go ahead and put 0. .0. The value hasn't changed at all. It's still a 19. When we're dividing with decimals, that decimal goes straight up into our answer. And where you place your numbers when you're dividing is really important. 5 does not go into the 1. Actually, it does. I could even put a 0 here if I wanted to. But 5 does go into 19, and it goes 3 times. Notice I'm putting the 3 over the 9. That's going to help us to make sure that the decimal lands in the right spot in our answer. 3 times 5 is 15. We subtract. Bring down. And then 5 goes into 40 8 times, and it goes evenly. So as a decimal number, the answer to this would be 3.8. As a mixed number, here it is again. Cowboy gets to go in the house, and the horse has to stay outside. 5 goes into 19 3 times. We subtract, we get 4. The horse stays the horse. That horse is the bottom number, and it remains the bottom number, and the remainder goes on top. So this is a good little refresher, because on standardized tests, typically you're not allowed to use calculators, and not everybody remembers how to do um, long division. This isn't like really long division, but it's still going through the methods. And that is all there is to cowboy and horse.